Okay, one of my favorite parts about our signature segment, Designed by Drew, is helping redesign spaces for those who give back to everybody else. And nobody works harder supporting others than first responders. So, Cat Lewis has made history, or her story, as we now say, as the first career female firefighter in the city of Long Beach, New York. She and her fellow firefighters put their lives on the line every single day. I was lucky enough to meet them. Take a look. As a young girl, I always wanted to be a firefighter. My name is Katherine Lewis, and most people here call me Kat. The Long Beach Fire Department has existed for almost 100 years, but I'm the first career female firefighter. A lot of people are used to seeing the fire truck drive by and seeing four guys in the back, but now they see my ponytail and they immediately light up with a smile. She's gonna show so many young girls that anything can be accomplished. She broke the glass ceiling. Kat is like a daughter to me. I admire pretty much everything about her. She's exceptional in the fact that she's a Division I college athlete. She has a master's degree. She crushed the entrance exam. She did amazing on the physical agility. You know, there were days where we didn't have an instructor for PT, and Kat became the unofficial PT instructor for the entire academy of all men. Not only does she hold her own, she excels. The firehouse is a home away from home. We definitely spend a lot of time together in the den. We spend holidays, birthdays, anniversaries at the firehouse. The fire service is not just a brotherhood now, it's more like a brotherhood and sisterhood, it's a family. I couldn't be more proud of all the people that I work with. I know that they're gonna do everything that they can to protect the city of Long Beach. I think as a firefighter, most people get into the job because they want to save lives. We're here to save lives, but we're here to help people on their worst day. I would love for young girls to see me and think, oh wow, I could be a firefighter too. child is going to watch you, Kat, and dream and think about possibilities and hopefully, you know, trying to rise to the occasion the way that you have. And also your family, the other members from the Long Beach Fire Department are here today. <laughs> Hi, guys. Why did you want to be this female first responder? Set the bar, set the tone. Yeah, so, I mean, I've always wanted to be a firefighter. Uh, growing up, I didn't know many female firefighters, so I, I view it as a privilege right now to be a role model for young girls and, and young kids just see, you know, you could do whatever you want to do as long as you put hard work into it and persevere. Well, and you guys, we talked about how you spend time with the people you work with in ways that's you know completely equal, if not sometimes tips the scale of the time you spend with your family. And it does make you a family. And a family deserves a beautiful space, especially one that takes care of everybody else. So, um, well, we have a little fun surprise. Um, check it out. Company, how you guys doing? Hey, Drew. Yeah. I like surprises. <laughs> I am in awe of what you do. So I'm not even going to pretend like I could do what you do. But I do love design. I was looking around your space, and I was wondering if you guys would be open to doing a design by Drew, which is a segment we do here on our show and I could make over your space? No way. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yes. We, yeah, we need it. Drew, we need it. <laughs> I think your place has so much soul, and it does have really good cozy vibes. So I'd love to try and make it something that feels fresh and new, but really keeps the personality that's already there. And you do frat house leftover sheep? <laughs> <laughs> The place is built, I believe, in the early 70s, and other than a couple coats of paint over the years, it uh, really has that much. I'd like to have your back in any capacity, the way you have everybody else's back. That's so Thank cool. You. Thank, Thank you, you so really much, that. Drew. I can't wait to get started. Oh. <laughs> 
This table, we want to preserve that because oh. it's really special. Yeah, that has to stay. But we need new chairs. Oh. I like this reference because this felt kind of like hotel vibes. It's almost like a hotel lobby-esque yeah. type of feel that's elevated. And also, there are shipping problems in the country with the ports and yes. some of the stuff we were liking originally is just simply not available. So these are the two floor plans that I had created. I do like some individual chairs yeah, in we, case you don't want to buddy up. Sometimes they're there for days and weeks and they have to spend the night there. So like yeah. they want a little break away from each other. Yeah. So I thought this was a nice way to kind of break things up. I love it. I'm liking this. This is going to be a very swanky lounge. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. I'm not going to let you down. It's going to be beautiful. commercial break, but I got to tell you, my design partner in crime, Mikkel Welch, I'm really excited about what we came up with. 